Good evening, my friends. It's Thursday evening, 24 of March. It will be posted tomorrow morning. And thank you everyone for sending your best wishes to my to Tracy and Roman. They are both uh, sleepy heads, but uh, it apparently it's not that bad. I didn't hear from Tracy today, yesterday, uh, most of the time. She was the one who was answering my messages, and today my son was the one, and he said she's sleeping. So she said that she is planning to go tomorrow to work. I don't know. I don't have the feeling that she will be ready for tomorrow. Sometimes you have to take time, but this virus is not as bad. It's very easy to spread, but it's not as critical as the other ones were. So hopefully that they will be fine. The, Tracy started to feeling bad on Sunday, and I was seeing her on Wednesday, so I'm fine. And they are young and healthy, they supposed to get rid of this soon. So this is that. Oh, and please take vitamin D3 and K2 and zinc and multivitamins, garlic if you can, so that will help you. Thank, thank you, Mikey. Mikey, for your nice email. Alisa Romaniec, I will be answering questions and uh, telling uh, as an answer what the pictures came to me and then I will pull cards to extend the visions. So, Alisa Romaniec, what Kim Jong-un is up to in North Korea? He is starting another rocket, sending the, the rockets to the to the atmosphere, and this time they are the kind of that uh, rockets that can reach even USA. So when I close my eyes, I saw him sitting on the armchair, his legs on a full step, and he is eating chips and throwing dots, uh, dots and target dots, you know, the, those metal things that you throw in the bars. Um, the targets are Biden and Japanese president, but I don't know who the third target was because he cut some silhouettes that remind those people. I didn't recognize the third one. So what are his plans? Uh, he, he, it looks like he is preparing himself to, to hit those people or hurt them. It's not serious when you're throwing dots, but when you have the silhouette and it looks like a target, that, that's more disgusting. He is thinking about being busy, busy, busy. He's worried about his sanctions, so he is thinking that that way he can have a leverage. He knows that the grass is greener on the West, so he wants to be part of the West and he wants uh, the sanctions to be taken away. Putin is going to retaliate retaliate against Ukraine for destroying the military ships, three ships. And when I closed my eyes, I saw a fog, so symbol of some kind of bomb, but it is not blast, it is foggy. And I remember when we had uh, chemical train, train who had the chemical wagons fall down and they had the chlor uh, chlorine 
and my youngest son Roman was coming from mall. He, he was probably 15, so he was walking, he couldn't drive by himself, so he was walking with a friend and they could feel that chlorine. So he came home right away. You have to wash chlorine. You can actually dilute by washing yourself and breathing through the wet cloth. It helps. And we had to evacuate ourselves. Even we are far, we were five kilometers away from that place, but we still had to evac be evacuated. And to the, we went to my brother's place, so it wasn't that bad, but uh, because he is on the other side of, of Red Deer, but it was so bad. The, the smell and it, it is hor horrible for your lungs. So whenever you will feel it, just if you can have access to water and uh, make sure that you can breathe through the wet, uh, the, the water somehow is diluting the, the chlorine. Shelton fat. Did Trump knew, know uh, or have knowledge during the presidency that Russia is going to invite, attack Ukraine? And I saw him looking through the loop, but not really seeing because it was not clear picture, so I don't think Putin will be telling him what kind of uh, uh, that he's going to do, but he had some kind of knowledge because when you are looking, you are looking for something. So I think he had some knowledge, but maybe not enough. Maybe he thought that the south side only. He knew that Putin wants to have the Ukraine. He is. He wants to, and he is waiting for that. Yeah, he wanted to accommodate Ukraine to the Russia. He has the biggest country in the world. Now he wants to have more. What a greedy! <clears throat> I'm sorry. Kathy McLaughlin, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Can you read on when the United Nations will finally bring in a peacekeeping force? And I saw a soldiers in the cornfield looking where is the way out, which way to go. So they are still moving through the conflict, it's never easy to walk through it. And I think they will be, they are too slow, lost in the fields. So, they will be eventually the ones who will be the judges, the judgment day. There will be some casualties and then they will feel that they have to stand up as uh, army protectors, the angel of swords will make them to, to do it. Eventually it will happen, but I don't see them yet. They are still hiding in the court. Mrs. Marie, what does who? <laughs> Someone wrote me a really nice, uh, sent me a, a message, uh, I think the, the box, email box, and it was the name Putin. So I love it. So what does, and I started writing that Putin, kind of, and now I'm lost. What does Putin aura looks like. What does President Biden's and President Zelensky aura look like? So I don't see auras. I don't want to make up stories that I see. But I, for Putin, I saw chair upside down. So it's not happy because he feels he's losing his chair. He knows that they have election at the end of the year. The last time he was around 70% popular, popular. 
this time I don't think so. So by then he's sleeping baby, unaware, oblivious. So it's not the, the best picture for Biden as well. He should be more alert. And Zelensky, he is like a hero standing in the graveyard. Very content, very proud. And he knows he is earning points for himself when he, that he will go to the history and he will be always treated the, the, the positive way because he is standing up for the right reason. He's, he is ready for, for whatever will happen to him. He is ready to fight to the end. His heart is broken, but the same thing, he feels like whatever he has in this lifetime, he has to show it the best card, the magician. He is glorious. He feels that he deserves the place in the history of one of the best heroes. So he knows that the, there will be a lot of people who would like to play him in the pictures and so on. So he is playing this role to the fullest. He is actually making himself believing that that's the way he's supposed to act and he's acting perfectly. Freda, can you check what is going on with Edward Snowden, who seek refuge in Russia from being arrested in USA. Do you think that Russia is using him for any cyber attacks on US or anywhere else? And I saw him writing on the old typewriter. So I don't think he is any more that updated, you know. The cyber attacks, are, those guys are usually very young and he is probably left that uh, because he was a hacker when he was a teenager. So FBI used him for, for doing that kind of job for, for FBI. And uh, now he's old, he is behind and uh, no one is uh, competing with him. He doesn't have the same access to, to other hackers. I don't think Russians are training him because they are afraid that he can use the knowledge against them. So I don't think, but we will see what the cards are saying. Yeah, they don't think that he is that that he might be opposite that that they want him to be. He started when he was young. He is still capable of doing things, but they think that he is unreliable, the devil. So I don't think he is doing anything to help them. Joan Cooks. Is asking me about how difficult it is to learn English. What age I was when I was learning that my parents spoke English and Polish when I was growing up. Okay, you English is not the hardest. I can tell you, Polish is the second hardest. I don't know which one is the, the hard, much harder than ours, but every word is changing all the time. It, the rules are, you have to learn the rules by listening. It's impossible to learn Polish. And we have more letters, we have more... Uh, so many different ways. And oh, oh, is, uh, oh, ah, you, uh, it's very hard to write essay and not making mistakes. So... I started learning when I was 14 English and German 
uh, Russian I started probably 12 when I was 12 because it was our second language we were told you don't choose family and Russians are your brothers so we had to learn Russian everyone every socialistic country had to everyone was learning Russians and German and English German the words are so long long so I prefer English than German but there was time that my German was better than my English because my father is German not that I grew up around him too much because my parents split when I until I was seven and then they came back until when I was 12 they separated forever so no there was not that much luck that I was listening to my father and at home he was never speaking Polish my mom spoke German and Polish a little bit Russian and because her stepmother was uh, teaching Russian she was from Ukraine her stepmother and uh, my mom was uh, or French was the basic language that she was taking at school before the war and uh, she was working for a while for translator who was uh, blind but he was writing on the machine broiler I think that's the, for, for blind people he was a lawyer and she was reading for him in uh, French te um, scripts and he was translating this to Polish so that was not for too long she was uh, he found someone who was more often working with him so eventually that was not for forever but she was working for a while Donald Stanf so those girls Ukrainian girls what I was going to who speak who can speak English or German that would be much easy for them to find the destiny in those countries because they will be able to go forward to through Europe knowing English it's opening so many doors in every country so that will be much easier you have to spend time to learn the language you have to be around people and like me I will always have the accent okay and I have to say those are my earrings that I used to make when I was doing leather jewelry Donald Stanfield will Putin uh, Putin's own people get him out of power something good will come out of it but I'm still seeing a woman so I don't know if he will be allowing her to help him to go on the other side because uh, will his own people I, second time I saw a woman before I saw the woman making some mixture and this time holding his hand yeah he will be sick look at that he will be in a bed for his own security he don't trust anyone so it will have to be someone that no matter what is much closer to him and he will trust maybe one of his daughters that he was always hiding how clever he was that way he never let his daughters to be known to the public even Russian public he was always hiding their identity they could be living in the West and no one will knew because he was always so overprotective towards his daughters he knew long time ago what his plans are Mary Marinara it's a top uh, Mar uh, Marinara is the top of the jacket and my husband when he was young he was always saying Fruba Marinara when he was going for a disco will Navalny be released once Putin is removed and I saw him being sick laying in a bed and I had that feeling that someone is poking me in the head with needle 
so I'm worried that they might put some poison in his head uh, where the hair are, so it's very hard to find the spot that he will be poisoned. But I'm worried about him, that he might. He was supposed to get out three years from the, the first time in the prison. Next year he was supposed to be free. Now it's nine more years. Nine or ten? That he will need the help of the doctor. Rainbow the family, so maybe he will be lucky. But it is something um, that he might get some poison in a cup. So, she, my girlfriend, she haven't heard in a while about Kavanaugh. FBI is looking into his uh, who paid off his debts so he can uh, so he could be in the bench of Supreme Court. Did they find out the sources of the income? And I had the feeling that he will be telling that he got the money from the family, especially from his father. So he, and it was cash, so it will be really hard to, to trace. Gambling money or something like that, but the daddy will be saying, oh, I was playing in casino and I won. It will be hard journey for him. Good. The cards are giving better story so it's not easy for him to prove he will be boxed up and justice will be the lawyer woman lawyer will be taking his him to the court thank you cheryl today so the villa when cleopatra where Cleopatra is buried, is Mark Antony with her? Did she really commit a suicide? And I saw both of them being thrown to the water, to the ocean, or, or, or sea, but big water. So I think that that's because black, uh, the Mediterranean Sea, maybe, that they threw him to that one, the, their body, but I, I saw over flip it without any, you know, insignia, anything. They just dis dismissed their body. And I think she took some poison, not that she took the uh, bite from the snake, maybe that was but I know that she was ready to commit a suicide because she didn't want to suffer. I think he died during some fight, but she was the one who, who wanted to die her way. She went to the top, but she wanted to cheat. She wanted to be on her own terms. She wanted to be safe. And she had extremely interesting life. She was always busy, always in control of her situation. Just as Thomas' wife, Vicky, and I was talking not long ago that I see him, just as Thomas disappearing, and it was before even we knew about what Vicky was doing. So today they were saying that she said to Mark Meadow, letter and email telling him what to do, how to get rid of Biden and control the outcome of the election. So I'm seeing her, I, when I close my eyes, I saw her eating dirt, gra grant, earth. So I think it's not, she will be in trouble. And maybe I mean, but I think she deserves it and she should be in trouble. I don't really like him or her. Yes, she will be trying to, to take some risks, so she might be even testifying. This functional family, he will feel obligated maybe to give up and he might write some 
letter, sorry, I have to give up my post. I don't know if he's still sick in the hospital. I didn't hear anything today about him. Victoria W. What will be the future for Trump? And I saw a drama in Philharmonia. When we were kids, we had to go to Philharmonia once in three months. And the building was wonderful. But I can't say that I was fanatic of that place because then we had to write how emotional it was for us. And I was... It was overwhelming, the drama of all that music. So I think he will be going through the same drama that I was going through. We couldn't leave. We had to stay. I love opera. I love ballet. But Philharmonia is, especially the, the one in Wrocław, was wonderfully acoustic, but it was too much for me. And... Yes, love. Huh, what is the love doing over here for Angel of Love? Maybe for, for us, he was try, riding on the horse. He was on the top of the chariot. He was moving forward. So <coughs> maybe there will be not that much that they will be charging him before it will happen. He will take some decision and maybe he will run. Tara 999, because that's what I wanted sometimes to do. I wanted to sneak to the bathroom. I have tiny sound in my ears, tinnitus, so it was too much for me, the, the Philharmonia. Tara 999, does Putin has psychic abilities? Does he use black magic? I know that he is really good in reading people. He can look at someone and he can say things. I'm good at that. I don't think he's doing any black magic. I never did. So I feel, except that I'm charging my rocks, <laughs> but that's not a black magic. So I, I think he has that extremely good intuition towards people who is lying to him, who is thinking something. He can choose people. And look, he, he, most of his friends were his friends for, for since uh, childhood sometimes. So he is very good that way. I'm surprised sometimes what I can tell people and especially about children, and they say, yes. But now he's not that good. He's direct, he lost his, maybe because his illness is, like Parkinson is giving up on his, messing up with his brain, so he is going different directions sometimes. Angels just as what he put, he will receive. And he is looking on the world from different point of view now. He wants to rejuvenate himself. So, uh, flying bear, bearing. How safe is to go to uh, Ostaba, close to Krakow in April? I saw... Um, Oh, how would you feel if you will come to the house and someone is robbing your house? You will feel very uncomfortable and insecure. So uh, you have to feel that, uh, that for sure. I'm running because it, this damn thing can stop <laughs> that recording. Ellen LB, when you see a major earthquake near St. Louis, Missouri, the new Madrid fault. I see a very, it is very overdue. 200 years ago, there was a huge earthquake over there. And I feel like it's waking up because I saw cracks on the street, the roads, on the streets. So you have to observe how that is uh, that what kind of role is that playing and with that and i saw one two 
and then book. So there will be some, two small ones and then the third one will be big. But maybe there will be somewhere where people will be not, will be protected because angel of work and excitement will keep them busy. Strong one, it will be a strong, but people will make good decisions. So maybe that part of the Missouri wouldn't, uh, St. Louis, Missouri wouldn't be that popu populator. Okay, eat healthy, that's remedies. Eat healthy and not, don't eat after six o'clock. I can give you advice, but I was so eating, I was eating today all day and I was hungry and hungry. So I don't know what was wrong with me. Okay, Mary Marinara. Rice is constipating and I'm adding and cooked carrot is for constipation too. So you can give those two things to the babies and if they have diarrhea that will help them. Uh, I, for the older children you can add Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola. Fresh carrot is opposite of constipation. So if the child is constipated, you can give them fresh carrot, juice carrot, or shredded carrot with lemon and sugar. <laughs> My kids will love it, that. So it will help them with constipation. And Mary Mary Nara, she is Polish, so from Polish family, so I can understand why she has those uh, remedies. Two drop, uh, drops of hydrogen peroxide into ears, clean throat and ears. And my mother was giving us on the cotton um, a few drops of wa uh, wicks or um, eucalyptus oil. I love the eucalyptus oil because it was making warmer and warmer and it was great for the ear. And Mary Marinara is again, she's from Polish family. Aspirin is um, half uh, aspirin in half of cup warm water, gargle for the throat and it's good for, for that because this new virus is more about the throat. Excuse me. Tess is telling me cyan paper is in water best for throat. I added, I cooked yesterday a chicken soup I took to my kids and I put a lot of cyan paper and those um, seeds from uh, paprika. So they, they said that they liked and the uh, training paying train paying the study finds gargling not only 